Hi guys, welcome to the community show and today I'm at Micklefield Library and I've got a lovely lady here who's doing something extraordinary for the community, for people and as you know here on Moving On TV we're all about spreading the positivity and the light and the compassion and the kindness to help raise people and make them feel better. So I've got Tess Wickham. Yes. How are you? I'm blessed, thank you. Great. It's a great pleasure being here today. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm so grateful that yeah. you came in. So Tess Wickham, are you from Wickham? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone always asks me that. Even though it's spelled differently, <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, it's spelled differently. Eh? Well, I was in London and a few years I came to Wickham because mm -hmm. um, London was a bit pricey, but I know exactly what I wanted to do and able to do that. I mm. step out the box a lot, although I'm always in London and stuff, so I enjoy Wickham and then that's why I decided to open my businesses and stuff up here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's just start a little bit about you, a little bit of a background. So where were you born? I was born in St. Vincent and then I came to England when I was 16 years old. Okay. So, yeah. So, I went to college in London and uni in London. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, because you're still quite young. You seem a lot younger than uh, your picture on Facebook. I do, <laughs> but unfortunately, not fortunately for me, I'm blessed in many ways. I was 40 at the beginning of this month. Oh my goodness, you yes. don't look at that all. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yes. Um, how exciting. You look yeah. fantastic. So, Thank you. I mean, but you are in the beauty industry, aren't you? Yes, I'm in the beauty industry. What, what do you do? Well, I'm a hairdresser. I'm a um, part-time counsellor, I'm a beauty -tician, and I'm a chef as well. Wow, yes. So you're, you've got lots and lots of different yes. talents and you're very creative. Yes. Okay, but today, the reason I want to interview you for Moving On TV is because you're doing something exceptional. Yes. Uh, you do stand out yes. <laughs> with what you're doing. And so I need to ask you more about this. So it's it's the sea pot, is that um, right? CT hot pot. That's CT it. hot pot. Yeah. Okay. So what is the CT hot pot? Well, CT hot pot is my. I've got my own salon, and I decided that for twelve years now. Then I always wanted to have my own Caribbean restaurant as well. So I've got a small Caribbean takeaway stuff sitting restaurant, and. Um, so I decided that, there, especially now it's coming on to the winter time and everything, and I'm very health conscious with my friend as well, um, that he's, he's very inspiration to me, Ten Wise Dan Bay. He very health conscious. Mm -hmm. So we decided that, um, I decided um, first that, um, especially it's winter, to help people, it's nice to give someone a hot meal and stuff so I just and I God has done so many things for me in the past and just continue doing so if that's the least I can do give back something like giving someone a hot meal wow. it's very much appreciated wow yeah. so you've basically you've set up something where everyone can get a hot meal is that yeah, once a week or and how does it work on Wednesdays Mm -hmm. And at from six till seven, and on Sundays as well, six till seven. Wow! And, um, I would like to like um, find out like homes that like, could. Sometimes there's elderly people, and then they will appreciate having a hot meal. I don't mind if I know at least. Even it's five to take the meal for them myself. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we'll talk about that in a minute because yeah. it's always good to say what it is you need and yeah. you know how you can we can help you or how anyone can help you with this. But at the moment, it's it's set in your salon. Is that no, right? At the Caribbean Takeaway. It's at the Caribbean Takeaway. At yeah. Okay. At and where is 39 that? Totridge Road. All oh, right. Okay. Yes. Wow. <laughs> you see, I didn't even know that. Yes. I, I've been living in High Wycombe now for 14, 15 years. Oh, I live right. near Holmer Green, and okay. um, I didn't realise that there was a Caribbean takeaway in Totteridge Road. Yes. How exciting! Uh, that's incredible. Yeah. The salon is on 184 Desborough Road, mm -hmm. and the takeaway is on 39 Totteridge Road. Fantastic. Yeah. It's been there open for about three years. Mm -hmm. So anyone, you don't just have to, it's not just for homeless people? 
no it's not just for homeless people because sometimes everything is getting um, expensive now and then sometimes I didn't want the confusion of um, people coming and then I have to ask are you a student or are you homeless so I just decided to come at that time give them a hot meal doesn't matter if I sold out that day or all the food done it's finished that's, That's it. it. I so feel first blessed come. to be able to do that. It, yeah. yeah. So first come, first serve. Yes. It is. It's incredible. You see, High Wycombe, we do have an incredible multicultural interfaith space. Yeah. And we should be celebrating the fact that we're doing these things to yes. make Wickham a better place. Yes. You know, that's what I'm trying to do with um, Moving On TV. Yes. To keep giving from the heart and to enhance people's lives. But yes. you're giving food. <laughs> yes. Well, I do give free advice as well and stuff. But it's like, at least to me, it may make sense in giving people advice and they're starving or they need something to eat. Mm -hmm. To me, you feed them first, then they can be able to take whatever information you give to them. Mm, that's a great idea. Yes. Because they say the um, the way to a man's heart is through their stomach. Exactly. Well, the way to a woman's heart <laughs> is through a stomach as well. Exactly. Believe me, we love our food. <laughs> exactly. We love our food. And um, so, you, do you do everything yourself there? Or do you have staff? I've got staff there because I can't be in two places at the same time. Most of the time I'm running around at the salon and stuff. So mm. when I finish the salon, most of the time I go to the shop in the evening. I do most of the cooking there. Right. And especially here as well. And then healthy options that I've decided because at the moment I don't eat no meat. Um, you're a vegetarian? You're a vegan? Yes, I'm heading Wow. There. So I do the cook a lot of vegetable and healthy eating because a lot of people these days, they not they don't really concern, they're concerned about their healthy eating, but they don't know what information and stuff. And what we put in our stomach mm. is what comes out in our surrounded and our right. body. So I'm very keen about healthy eating. You need, yeah, yeah, there's people I know that you need to talk to yes. who are really involved in this. It, 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 I mean, I tried to become a vegan, a full-time vegan, but I just couldn't do it. I do now eat a little bit of meat, a little bit of fish and chicken. I just became very weak. Yes. So, um, but I have got a friend who is trying to get people into becoming vegans, but in a very healthy, gentle manner. I yes. kind of jumped into it. Yes. And because I love salads and I love um, vegetarian food, so that that's an incredible thing yeah. to to actually be doing the vegan food as well. So your menu is. What what do you actually do? Special diets and also meat or Yeah, we do a variety of everything we do and um yeah, so like it's like West Indian and stuff but a lot of um a lot of um community now or different cultures in embracing the West Indian food and stuff. So we do like the curry goat, the curry chicken, stewed chicken, <laughs> stewed beef. It's a wide variety and uh, to me, because um, even when I decided well, what to do this to give a meal a day, my staff was saying, oh, well, can we choose this meal? No, you just that one hour. So it's like it's, it's like a kid in a candy store for that mm. one hour. If you need curry goat, you need stewed chicken, you get it. Okay. Get one meal and you go. <laughs> yeah. So you can pick and choose. Yeah, pick so and choose. So it's a bit like when you go on holiday and you have this big smorgasbord yes. of food. <laughs> and you can... I was just... Because one of the happy stories I was saying is that it's very similar to Amravati Buddhist Retreat. Mm. There's a Buddhist retreat in Hemel Hempstead. Okay. And they give a meal a day. Yeah. Every day, about 11 o'clock, you can get this massive meal. Yeah. And the monks are not vegetarian. And you can eat as much as you want for free okay. or on donations. So it's really nice to pass this on. Yeah, to pass it it's on. It's such a great thing to be able to. So coming back to what you're doing, who provides the food? I do. You provide everything yeah. yourself from yeah. your own money. Yes. Wow. That's very fun. I've been to a lot health wise, and God has blessed me in many ways. So if he's blessed me in many ways, and then if, if you help me to achieve something, doesn't mean that because you help me to achieve something, or I give you something, that I'm going to get back that same thing in return. Mm. Getting up in the morning is just a blessing. Mm. So if I can return it, and by a little helping someone, 
giving them a meal a day, that's awesome to me. And I got pleasure from that. I was just speaking to one of the clients and this is a, but Tess, if you do give a meal a day, what will happen? How long are you going to ask as long as possible? And God allows me to do it, I will do it. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Absolutely incredible to, to speak to someone like yourself who is so giving and compassionate yes. and able to say that. And I totally agree with you. You don't always get back in money. No. You know, you could be doing... I've done a lot for the universe it, 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 for years and years and years. But one of the things I've noticed is people's kindness where they offer you, like, for example, this space. Yes. Micklefield Library are so kind. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, um, I pay something, but compared to some of the other places, this place is so kind. And look at it, it's beautiful. Exactly. I mean, look at the views. I exactly. keep telling people you have to come. I've never been here. I, no, I haven't. Uh, I mean, look at it. Either. Please <laughs> just come and look at the views. <laughs> just come here to be here for the views. And yes. So, even though I, you know, as I say, I think you're right that we get back, they, they call it karma, again, yes. in Buddhism. What you give, you get back. You get back. But you get it back in a different way. Just having you here today, oh, yeah. and the fact that you and someone else turned up for the interviews, I'm so grateful. Awesome. Because I didn't sit here not doing anything <laughs> all day. You know, yes. it's like, you want to be of service. Yes. And so you're being of service through a really, really positive way yes. by cooking meals and giving them to people. Yeah. So, again, if you want to just tell us um, where do we go and what time to the camera okay. so people know, so we can all gather there okay. and enjoy your food. You won't have enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a free meal on Wednesdays and Sundays between 6 and 7 a.m. For anyone. Sorry, it's 6 and 7 a.m.? No. P.m. Oh, in the evening. Yeah, in okay, the evening. We'll <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll sleep then. Between 6 and <laughs> 7 p.m. Okay. Uh, yeah. And it's a free meal at 39 Totridge Road, Highwicombe, Hotel Papa, 11, no, 36 <laughs> Echo Bravo. Fantastic. Yeah. So we're all going to be there. Yeah. I'm definitely going to going to get there because, so again, so do you, you do a lot of, uh, say, do you do it according to the seasons? Do you change the menu? Is it going to be similar? Um, it's well, you similar, don't really it's, have seasons. No, it's much, similar yeah. menu all the time. Well, I try to um, try to renew the menu um, probably once a year, but mostly it's the same thing on it and stuff. Mm. Yeah, mm. So. someone that's actually in intense pain that it's hard for them to even sit and think that they could ask their pain in how are you going to do it would you do that um by steps like slowly slowly gently gently because the first thing that you want to do is imagine that you're holding a sword and shield of setting the sword and shield down and then walking up to an imagined sacred space the door opening and then your issue say neck pain, walking through the door, and you welcome it. You say, well... No, rien, de rien. Oh, I love you too, Marcel. Mm, mm. Oh, bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> I want to wear my face to the audience as I would a laver. And that is why I refuse to wear the makeup and the products, not unless they are organic, because they make me feel nude. <laughs> so, come on board, organic makeup companies, moving on TV.uk. Bonjour. No. a little bit further back to when did you decide to start this where did it come from something did something happen that well, <laughs> well I always loving and sharing uh, unfortunately the world we live in the people in the, the world is a beautiful place but the people in the world they're not 
very loving and kind anymore. So whatever little I can do personally to make an impact on other people's life, I'm just doing it with the kindness and the goodness from my heart. I don't want anything in return because getting up in the morning and being alive is a blessing and everything. So whatever I can do throughout the day, I'm doing it. Wow. And stuff, and I just turned 40, so I decided, wow. you know, let me do something because it's mm. like a milestone, and you give te you thankful for what for all the past years. So, whatever I can give back, I'll do that. Which sounds like you've yeah. got a lot of positive, inspirational stuff. Uh, yes, I'd I love have. to get you on here doing more, <laughs> doing your own show, maybe some yes. kind of positive show or you know, inspiring people. Yeah, this is so incredible to listen to you because. As you say, um, something has happened to our world. Yeah. The world is not what it used to be, but we are also, I think, I was talking to someone else about this today, is there are a lot of challenges. Yeah. And um, I've had a huge amount of challenges. I was in a wheelchair this time mm -hmm. last year. I think you know Sonia, she was my carer, Sonia Lee. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right, I baptized yeah. with Sonia. Yeah, yeah, she was one of my, she was okay. lovely. Yeah, awesome. Tell her that, you know, I can't wait to see her again. Um, yeah. The year's gone so quickly, but I was in a wheelchair this time last oh. year. And my life was horrendous. I was yeah. in a really bad space. I'd lost, I'd had a lot of grief. And, but somehow when I came out of that wheelchair, it was like I was determined that I couldn't let other people feel like that. Like yes. you say, the loneliness and the depression. and So you get out there and you do something. And I believe that a lot of people are working to create the, a better place. And yes. I want us all to come together yes. on Moving On TV. So it's kind of like a hub okay. where we can send out send all out this positivity. Yes. Um, starting with Wickham, High Wickham and surrounding areas. Yeah. And also made in Ed because I've got a base there as okay, well. Okay, awesome. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. So, um, how long does it take you to cook all this food? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I know it's like sometimes I always ask myself, why did I choose two of the hardest carrots? Correct. Well, it's that kind of hard head dressing. It's like standing up. You can't sit down doing a catering. You can't. See. It's a standing up job as well. So sometimes I can be at a restaurant cooking because I cook in uh, in most of the time night or early morning. So sometimes I can be right. there cooking up to five o'clock in the morning. Wow! And stuff. So really, you do the preparation first, and then you gotta make make um let the food, the seasonings, so okay, mm. and everything. Then you prepare the meals and stuff. So. That's fantastic. Yeah. So you really dedicate your life. So uh, when you're not when you're not doing your beauty work yeah. and you're not doing the cooking and the sea hot pot. Yeah. Do you have any time? You go to church. Well, I go to church. Yeah, that's that's good. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't go as much as I go to the church building stuff because we all a lot of people take church as if going to the building that's church. But as human being, our church is our heart mm. and stuff. So we carry our church everywhere we go and stuff. Mm -hmm. Some people go to the building to um, get the church. But unfortunately, unfortunately for me, I worship God anywhere because I carry my church with me yes. wherever I go. But that's how it should yeah. be, really. They say God is everywhere. Exactly. You know, I mean, I was born Jewish, yeah. um, but I believe that we're all the same. Yes. And as you say, we carry it in our hearts. Yes. We carry it everywhere. Yeah, so that's so, the thing. Such a, so incredible. Do you have a family? No, I haven't got a family. I'm right. just going to a divorce, but okay. that's up for after 20 years. But that's how sometimes it doesn't work. I don't believe in divorce, but God didn't put us an out for be suffering on the mm -hmm. marriage just to say that we're married. So yeah, it's yeah. better. Yeah. And as you say, you know, um, so you basically, you've still got a little bit of time left for tests. Yes, I do. To make sure that you stay strong and healthy. I do, and I travel a lot. <laughs> and you travel? Yes, I do love you to travel. Where do you travel? Well, I just came back a few weeks ago from, it was my birthday, so I went to New York and I went to Canada and stuff. So okay. I enjoy traveling and stuff because you see different cultures, different experience, different stuff. And then you can, hopefully you can take the positive stuff and make a difference, bring mm. it back and make a difference in many people's life. So say you've got someone who is very lost and confused and they really don't know what to do. 
Um, because it sounds like you've gone through quite a lot in life as yes. well. Because you were saying you managed to rise above it. Yes. And as I say, everything I want to put out there is I have people on that talk about grief and loss. We've all mm. gone through so much. But we find that spark inside us, that unique talent or yes. something that we're good at. And for you, it's cooking. For me, it's entertaining and, and um, filming and editing and, yeah. you know, creating what I'm doing. So how would you inspire that person? What do you think they should do? How, how can they come out of whatever they're in? Well, in life, we all go to circumstances and some of them life take us on a journey a lot of journeys that we have on plan for but I have a motto and everything like that that joy sorrow and bitterness is first cousin so if we realize that it's first cousin we might be sorrow in sorrow now but joy is coming in the morning like it says in the Bible weeping means draw for the night but joy comes in the morning so we okay. just have to hold on and try and pray our way out if mm. we don't if we don't know how to pray a lot of people think we have to actually bow down and kneel down to pray but we have to just believe in God there's a God because no matter how the person out there they don't believe in God and then get in trouble or something when it goes wrong with them most of most people the first thing they say oh God yeah, and stop. Um, they tend to blame God for everything exactly. uh, without taking responsibility. Without taking responsibility. Yeah, so that's the problem. you just have to hold mm. on and pray your way out. And then if it's something that I can change, I change it. Mm. And stop. If it's something that I know I have to go and get help and I can get help, I go and seek the right people that I can get help. But I'm not just going to be in a situation and say, oh, I give up. No, no, I never give up until it's over. No, you're that? definitely not going to give yeah. up. And so we know that Tess has got this wonderful mm. sea hot pot. City hot pot. <laughs> City hot pot, where you can go to Totteridge. We'll put the address on so everybody knows. Uh, you can go there on a Wednesday evening between 7 and... No, the 6, six and, seven? and 7. Yeah. 6 and 7. <laughs> yeah. And get this fantastic meal. And if you're a vegan, apparently there is a substitute for vegans. And that is so incredible to know because people don't know that. No. People struggle. There really is nowhere to eat a healthy meal around here. Yes, and that uh, eating vegan. a healthy meal mm. is very important, especially in this age and everything. There's so many sickness and everything. Yes. But it's like we... When we get sick, because a few years ago I was healthy. I'm not saying that if you being healthy, you can't get sick because sickness is there for everyone. But sometimes we go to God put us in a uh, to go to certain things to see how to test our faith right. and stuff, and then help us to be strong. Because it's like you go to a bad situation, sickness or whatever. But her, oh, by God's grace, when we get out of it, we should get out stronger. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. It, most people that come through, they go out to do something for the world. Yes. They they open their heart opens a little bit more. Yes. And they're able to get out there and teach more and more of you know because they learn their lessons and they feel they want to fa pass them on. Yes. Yes. So it's been incredible talking to you. Thank you. You really <laughs> are an incredible light. Yes. In, yes. Uh, in High Wycombe. Yes. And in our universe. Yes. And. Um, I, I look forward to tasting the food yes. um, awesome. and passing on everything to everyone else through Moving On TV. Yes, Is there yes. anything else you'd like to say now that you're on camera? No, just be strong in God and be have confidence in ourselves and don't, don't give up no matter what mm. circumstances we go to. Like in the morning I tell myself that I'm committed to me, I forgive me and I have confidence in me and most of all I love me if you don't love yourself from deep down inside don't expect no one else to love us yeah. but first we have to start with ourselves yeah yes. self-nurturing is very very yes. important yeah. very important and I agree with Tess mm -hmm. and I also feel that I um, don't despair I think our world is going through a detox Yes. And I think when you get sick, you have to detoxify. That's what yes. a fever is. And I think once we come through this detox, we can see it everywhere. Um, and people that we don't expect them to be doing it are actually creating it. Yes. So we don't know really what's going what on. What to do. <laughs> we don't know what to do. But we're kind of, just have some patience. 
keep focusing on the good things in life, keep doing what you love, keep coming to Moving On TV and spreading your talents and please subscribe below, click the little bell, go on YouTube, uh, Moving On TV community, the YouTube channel and if you can donate something we've got to go fund me and then we can bring on more wonderful people like that and just start with High Wickham. Start with yes. Micklefield and also Maidenhead because we've now got a hub in Maidenhead. Which, okay, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, a little office in Maidenhead which is very much a holistic space as well. Okay. So we're bringing people in to do holistic stuff but we're trying to make the light as strong as possible. Yes. So anybody who's got any questions at all for the people we've interviewed today or for Tess, how, how can people get in touch with you Tess? Well, I'm on the website, but my telephone number, you can get me in time, my mobile. What, what's your website? Um, you can go on CT Hot Pots and everything. Okay. Or Test Hair and Beauty, I'm on Facebook. Yeah. Okay, um, so the CT Hot, CT Hot Pot has got a website. Um, okay, that one is not really official, but you can get me on Facebook, on CT Hot Pot. Oh, okay. And on Test Hair and Beauty Salon on Facebook as well. Okay. Or you can you get my telephone number off there as well. Okay, so right. everything's on Facebook. And yeah. of course you can find, you'll find um, Tess through us if you go on to Moving On TV. Because yeah. we all communicate through Moving yeah. On TV. So it's been wonderful to have you here today, Thank Tess. You. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank Thanks, you. for, Thanks for the opportunity to come Thank here. You. Yes. Yes. to taste the food. <laughs> so, <laughs> namaste, yeah. God bless. Um, have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful week. Have a beautiful weekend. Yes. Stay positive. Stay strong in God. Stay strong. <laughs> Mighty God. I, I like to call God love. Yes. Um, to me, um, you know, to me, God is love. Yes. Because uh, I know some people struggle with that word God. Yeah. But you can always add another O and then it's good. It, that's it's true. all good. <laughs> all good. That's, it's that's all good. That's awesome. <laughs> um, you know, we're all trying to do our bit um, in order to make this area as best as possible so bringing the hope back into our lives signing off take care now namaste thank you peace, peace. <laughs>